I'm using toilet paper as a fabric. <laughs> it's really soft, got a feeling of plushness, strong enough to be made into a garment that can go down the runway, but it's still soft and comfortable on the skin. They're wanting us to challenge ourselves to use something people don't associate with high fashion. Somehow we've got to make this into a cocktail dress, which is red carpet worthy. We have to present our designs for judging, and three are picked to go into New Zealand Fashion Week. Last year I got to see the Cottonelle designs go down the runway, which was awesome. What I've designed in the past, I think will not help me whatsoever in this challenge. For me to make it in New York would be the ultimate. Everybody's there shaking their shoulder kura waters to, to try and make it. It's a diverse and, and cultural place and it's forward thinking and it's a lot of energy. All the cliche songs of if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, but it's, it, it's true. You've hustled your butt off to work with these amazing other designers. It's my benchmark, definitely. And that's why I got the tattoo of New York on my arm so that every day I'm doing something, it just sort of flashes. It's always there, so I'll never forget. The dress that stands out was by Mercado Tushi. Every bead was hand-stitched into this couture garment. The pattern of the fabric was made by the beads. I would like to try and apply that intricacy and that detail. It shows that passion for the garment. You've got to stand up above the rest. I mean, all of these guys are my classmates. But at the end, they're all my competition as well. <laughs> I'm just going to give it guts. I have nothing to lose but everything to gain. The next step for me from here is to start making up the material. I've finalised my pattern, so everything fits and now it's getting into the creation of the garment. So it's the exciting part. To have something I made walk down the runway of New Zealand Fashion Week would be crazy. Everything I do still has a tie in of New York. Like I always imagine whether they'll be able to wear it out to a Manhattan scene party. I really wanted to capture the Swan Lake story in, in the ballet. I was able to give sort of a feathered feature at the top on the bodice. Keeping that tight-fitted silhouette very structured. Through the middle it's got the plaited belt, which just adds that texture, that softness, and then out to the airiness of the skirt. So I'm, I'm feeling it's in harmony, which is, which is cool for me. <laughs> Seeing everybody's ideas come out has been crazy. Right now, I am trying to line everything up so I can get the look that I want on the front bodice. I'm wanting this effect here to bring the eye in with the lines. What I want is a pristine looking piece. And what I'm getting is mismatched, dirty and smudgy. And I've burnt it. This is all part of the process. You've been through everything. You've been excited about it, annoyed with it, frustrated. Then you're happy with it again. <laughs> and then the next instance, you meet something that throws you a bit. I've learned heaps about what I want and it sort of really made me believe that the choice I made in, in starting a new career or going back into study again was the right one for me. <laughs> the thing I've been worrying about the most is, is it going to fit the model? <laughs> I'm not worried about not finishing it. It'll be alright. I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. Now I'm nervous about how it's going to look on someone. <laughs> I think the nerves are starting to kick in. Today will be judging date. It's exciting. I actually didn't really sleep much. <laughs> We've gone right from the beginning right through all the tears and tantrums. And now we've come up with, with this, and I'm, I'm happy with it finally. I am. This whole process has been a massive learning curve and a massive journey for me personally. I've gone through my own transition of accepting myself as a designer. I am very stoked that I finished. It's still a little bit surreal because it's made out of toilet paper. The detailing which has turned out the best on the dress is the belt. It's got a, a fullness and a softness to it. I'm still coming to grips with that I've actually got something standing next to me. My name's Tyrone, and this is my dress. It's Odette Swan Song. My inspiration came from the Swan Lake Ballet, where she was looking for the perfect performance. I myself was trying to look for the perfect dress. The skirt, which is full and light and eerie. I love how you've incorporated both the softness as well as the strength when I look at the top of the, the garment. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am still shaking, but good news. I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. Don't even know what else to say. On behalf of Kleenex Cottonelle, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. You've done an amazing job and you've made our job so tough, but I only have three names. The first name that I'd like to call is Copy. The second name is Kay. And the third and final name is Tanya. So the judges just announced the winners. Unfortunately, I wasn't in the top three, but I'm still really proud of my dress. Uh, the, the three that were picked were amazing. They were fantastic. This whole journey has been 
amazing and I couldn't have done any better so that's why I'm, I'm proud, I'm, I'm happy. I can stand here and be happy with my dress. To grow from not knowing what I want to that is a big step and now it's just moving forward from there. <laughs>